All right, guys, so we're here on this fine, very cold, finally sunny day. Matt's here setting up his new trucks. Matt, what, what trucks are you gonna set up? I have no clue. Well, those are the old calibers. So those are the new calibers. So he's got the new caliber three raked in the raw color way. And today's video is actually blank decks. So as far as my board goes, I have a 39 inch blank deck, but uh, to me it kind of looks like a test rack, but with a slightly longer kick. Well, it feels like a slightly longer kick. That could be just because last time I rode one, my kicktails were worn down really low. But I have it set up with 43 degree Paris um, V2 base plates, and then the uh, Paris Savants 180s and purple orangutan bushings and purple orangutan gifts that have cracked cores. And that's what I got. All right, so for Matt's board, <laughs> so for Matt's board, he selected the blue grip tape option. And uh, his board kind of looks similar to that of a bust and boom box. You can kind of see that there's a little, little tiny little drop below the bolts, which is nice. It's a good little pocket. And then he's got the caliber three beauties on there and some Arbor Shakedown wheels. So Matt, I need to warm up. I'm gonna be honest, I didn't bring my other board to warm up on, which is both a pro and a con. I was thinking originally that uh, why well, warm up on one board if I'm gonna change? But then what if I break the board while I'm warming up? Broken out of it. I would, but then we won't have a video. So maybe not warming up. <laughs> so I've seen a lot of primarily newer riders, um, but uh, people commenting, asking about um, should you buy blank decks? There's one company I'll list it right here because I forgot the name of it. But basically, they make blank longboard decks. And to someone looking to find a cheap board, they always look like shape wise and dimension wise pretty like compelling um however there's a stigma around blank decks that they aren't as good um and we're gonna find out if that is true or not so for anyone new or old should you buy a blank deck all right so first things first we got to do some sliding well, i gotta do some sliding because if it breaks before well when we're doing tricks then i won't be able to test it out so i gotta do that <laughs> It's been rolling for five okay. seconds. Also, I'm not wearing a helmet. Usually I do when I'm doing free riding, but I didn't know that there was a hill. So let's go. <laughs> While you're sliding, it has these little micro drops that you don't really notice when you're doing tricks, but you definitely notice when you're sliding, which is really nice. It gave me a lot of confidence. And then the wheel wolf layers are huge, which is also really, really nice for sliding in because if you want to put your foot a little bit backwards, you can definitely rely on those or not and whatever you want. Um, also, there's a little bit of flex when you are doing tricks that I feel here and here, which isn't really, really like where I want it. Um, but I mean that by saying not necessarily like it flexes in the center, I mean the sides are flexing. <laughs> not turning, the sides are flexing. Um, and, uh, but when you're sliding, I didn't notice that period, which was really nice. I'm gonna do another run, not because I have to, because it was fun. <laughs>
It's very techy, very free ridey, very fun. So far for free riding and sliding, I, like, I like it. Um, and uh, I know that I can go a lot faster on it. I'm not, don't have helmet. It's not a huge hill. Tiny little wheels, that's a lot of excuses, but I'm not, I'm not going faster right now. Um, but uh, for sliding, 10 out of 10 for that one. You just have to Nerd. <laughs> Does that mean you owe me a frosty? Does that mean you owe me a frosty? Cause you didn't die? Hey, <laughs> yeah, cause I'm so good at sliding. I definitely need that to happen. They were your wheels to begin with. <laughs> Our his board, the wheelbase is a little bit smaller, but the curvatures um, of the of the deck, especially where the the cutouts are give you a lot to lock in so you definitely know where your feet are so that's pretty confidence inspiring i would say i would prefer it with my truck setup but nerd <laughs> oh okay all right no. josh <laughs> josh what's going on so it's time for trip. get back here <laughs> it's time for tricks now i have not warmed up i'm afraid to warm up because what if it breaks in that in that time so I might skip a bunch of clips, but just know that there are many tries in between these tricks. <laughs> that is all you need to know. <laughs> Get away from me. Oh, the one you land somewhat, you know. <laughs> you get half the board in it because you're right next to me. You're a three-decker sauerkraut and toadstool sandwich. But then it's actually a mushroom, and he's sitting on a, like a stool. Yeah. So when he when so the Grinch was called a what? A toadstool. Toadstool. That's actually a mushroom, which isn't as bad of an insult as toad poop. Fun facts with Josh. Toadstool Episode sandwich. Two. Mushroom sandwich doesn't sound that bad now. <laughs> That's like toad poop sandwich. That one was bad. <laughs> you toadstool. <laughs> yeah. What are you doing to that, Josh? <laughs> Why did I agree anyway? <laughs> yeah. This is your video. Why would you listen to me? It's time for rails. <laughs> so before I finish this video, I would like to add while I eat my soup. Yeah. When I was making this video, I fully expected to basically end up telling you guys to save your money and buy a decent board and that you get what you pay for. I did not at all expect that. <laughs> I did not all, at all expect that um, I would end up liking the board or that it would do well. But uh, yeah, 50 bucks for a blank longboard deck. Um, that's comparable to a Tesseract. Um, that is a, a steal of a deal, in my opinion. Um, if I wasn't sponsored, then I would personally buy those decks only from now on. Um, the main reason I say that is that um, <laughs> a lot of times longboard decks, kicktails, they're, they're gonna wear down. Um, but 
uh, the, the deck in itself, um, aside from the kicktails, like the foot platform will last for a really long time. Well, what good is a foot platform if the kicktail has worn down months ago? Um, so as long as the deck lasts for as long as the kicktail does, then I'm good. Okay. So it took me a long time to get that, but I got it. <laughs> and it surpassed the, the rail war. Mind you, this deck was like 50 bucks. So if it was able to do the thing that I did on it, it should be fine. So I'm actually very impressed with this board and I could totally see myself getting used to it. The cores on my skiffs are very cracked. All right, as always guys, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye.